and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some abs and legends in historic. We're going to be trying to uh, build a deck around Captain Sisse. So this is a two green white two two, which that's not very good rate. You know, four mana for a two two. That's not so good. <clears throat> but it says you can just tap it and then search your library for a legendary card, any legendary card, reveal it, put it into your hand. So you just get to Demonic Tutor for legendary cards by just tapping this thing. That's pretty incredible. So that's what um, so that's what we're going to be trying to do here. So we're playing this in Historic. We're going to be playing it in Best of One. Um, don't really have a sideboard here for this. We're just going to be, yeah, like I said, trying it out in Best of One. It's probably going to be too slow. Our curve is super high. But hopefully we get to do some really fun things with this. Yep, that's right. We got the return of Shalai and Lyra. Got those two back. Um, Questing Beast comes on in here. We got Kethis to make our legendary spells cost less mana also. You know, we have cool things like the Great Henge and then Kamal's Druidic Vow. You know, if we can ramp into this, um, put a whole bunch of stuff into play. Of course, Urza's Ruinous Blast. Exile all non land permanents that are not legendary. So that does exile my mana creatures, but besides that, um, we can make our opponent basically exile all of their stuff. It's the Return of the King as well. Just lots of cool stuff. We got Vivian's coming back here. So this this seems like this is just a whole lot of uh, cool cards and everything, but curve is really high. Um, yeah, we could definitely have decks go underneath us. We're not really stopping combo decks. Oh, well. Whatever. We're going to have fun. So here we go. Abzan Legends. I just hope we get to activate uh, Captain Sisse at least once. What do you think, Hawkeye? Can we do it? That's all, all I'm hoping. <laughs> the Legend of Abzan as written by Kethis. E. Well, it could be worse. We got this cool new sleeve with the circle of loyalty. This was in the bundle with our knight avatar. Guild globe. <clears throat> well, this looks like probably Esper. Yeah, es so Esper. Esper Dance. The good news is Dance and like all these other Guild Globes and stuff are not legendary, so Urza's Ruinous Blast could exile all of them. I'm just playing the Othakaya out here like this because if I play Questing Beasts on turn 4, I don't want them just to play Doom Foretold. And Doom, for Doom Foretold um, exiles my Questing Beast. I don't want that to happen. So that's why I just have the Othakaya in play. Or it makes me sacrifice. You know what I mean. Come on, Doom Foretold. Doom Foretold. Yes. I'm saying yes because they're like tapped out and they got rid of all this stuff. And now we're going to Urza's Ruinous Blast and Exile everything except for the Othakaya. That's right, get it exiled. They're down to two cards. I don't want them to have another Doom Foretold. That would be bad. Well, they do. That's bad. But at least we had that, that good turn. Hmm... They just got one card in hand. I'm going I'm going high risk here. High reward. Activating Captain Sisse is high reward. Hmm. Any legendary card we, we want, you say? How about we get this one? 
<laughs> Captain Sissay! Oh, that was awesome. Any legendary card you want. Whatever, whatever you want. You can grab it. Okay, let's see. What if we go grab... Like, how cool is this? You just get to get anything. Hmm, the Great Henge. Go get Vivian. Go, go, go grab either Vivian. Instant speed July. I will let me show you what was lost. Instant speed July. Uh, that's each opponent. Not a target. All right, let's give Captain Sisse the vigilance. A home? To all our love letters. If no one said I always survive, you'll see. Oh, Mindstone was so good for our affinity deck. It was absolutely amazing in our affinity deck. I don't know about like in our opponent's deck here, but I mean, you get, you know, turn three, Doom Foretold. That's, that's kind of cool. Oh, this is so good. All right, best card in the set right here. At least my favorite. Ah, rude. Hmm. I'm going to have to discard a card. All my cards are great, though. Let's just cast this thing. This thing's cool. Let's just cast this, see what happens. <laughs> well. Okay, could have been better. Oh, yeah. I guess I should have just bought... Yeah, you're right. I could have just played Kethis and then... Oh, yeah. I should... Yep. I forgot about that. What, I had I had eight mana? So, yeah, I could have just played Kethis and then recast... Oh, I just forgot about that. Kethis recast Urza's Ruinous Blast and just exile all four of those. That's what I should have done. That's definitely what I should have done. Yeah, because Kathis can cast any legendary card also. So 
Oh yes, the mood is right. Okay, let's get rid of both of Kaya and Kathis. And we'll cast. There's his Runus Blast. Exile those. <clears throat> sweet. Eldest Reborn is. That's pretty sweet in the Doom Foretold deck, though. That is pretty cool. Too bad they ran into a Ruinous Blast. Multiple Ruinous Blasts. All the Ruinous Blasts. Cast three of them. Love it. Even if we lose the rest of our games, that one was worth it. <laughs> that game was awesome. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Okay, turn three, Captain Sisse. Hopefully they don't have removal on their turn four for it. <laughs> Seems unlikely. Yeah, Runa's Blast with Kethis is awesome, especially and with Captain Sisse, because you know we just we just tap, go search for Runa's Blast, put it into our hand, exile all your stuff. <laughs> Good job ruining Historic. We did ruin Historic. That's true. Yeah, this is yep. Yeah, this is like a best of one event that you just play as much as you want, basically. Vampires. Hmm. I guess we already have two Captain Sisses. Can you have too many? Of the newly added cards, what do you think is the most potential to have impact in the historic format? Uh, Burning Tree Emissary is probably the number one. I mean, it's a zero mana 2-2. Two, two. Zero mana cards are very good. Um, don't kill my captain. Don't kill my captain. Opponent over there that just passed with three mana and didn't do anything. Definitely doesn't have any removal. Yeah. Sisei's activation not costing any mana is, is pretty crazy. <laughs> nice cast down. <laughs> Protect Captain Sisei. Now we can go get Lyra Dawnbringer next turn. Or, of course, Urza's Ruinous, Ruinous Blast. Got to protect the captain. get for playing cast down <laughs> uh, 
Oh yeah, yeah, I really like historic. Yeah, I like new formats. I'm I really like the 20 cards they added, honestly. They weren't just like, oh, this is a good card that you just put in your Simic deck. You know, to go along with Oko or you know, this is a good card. Like they they didn't just put a bunch of like generically good cards and, you know, like thought seas and stuff like that. That's just really annoying and goes everywhere. Just put in build around cards. Captain's so good. I could get Lyra Dawnbringer and wait a turn to Runus Blast, but come on, they have one card left. Like, Runus Blast is just going to wreck them anyway. We can go grab, next turn we can go grab the Great Henge, play the Great Henge, play Questing Beast. Attack. We got a nice from the opponent also, so our deck is nice. That was sweet. Man, two games. Our deck did its thing, two games in a row now. Oh, I should have gave... Oh, yeah, I could have gone with Druidic Vow. That would have been a good time for Druidic Vow. Yeah, that probably would have been a good time for Druidic Vow, but oh well. Yeah, Ruinous, Ruinous Blast versus all the vampires is how you hit Mythic. Whenever M20 came out, yep. Yeah, I remember doing that a lot. That was a good one. Yeah, this Captain Sissé has just been awesome. Just... Yeah, d Demonic Tutor on a Scepter. Just keep on tutoring over and over and over again. <laughs> Thanks, man. Man Adorn. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, you were the Vance player just a little bit ago. Yeah, I had really good draws and everything. You know, you didn't get... To, like, Captain Sisse is just incredible if you don't kill it. Hmm... Am I supposed to take the Paradise Druid? No, probably not. Come on, we didn't join this to, to play Paradise Druid. Yeah, oh, you had cast down in your... So that's it, you had two cast downs, like, right away. You had the one to kill the Paradise Druid and then just sitting on another one. <laughs> Oops. Hey, European man, 12-hour stream's going great. Historic's been a whole lot of fun. Um, okay, do your life gain stuff. Go ahead. Just don't have removal. No removal?
that's not removal. So do I just go activate Captain to go look for Urza's Ruinous Blast and then play it? Or do I just play the one in my hand? Hmm, options, options. I think we just go grab it. So we can make it seem like we didn't have one. Bye bye, Lana Werolf. You gotta exile the hero there, Lana Werolf. Hmm. Well, I probably need a Vivian. Gotta kill that thing. Draw, not bad for a mouse. <laughs> Captain to say. Wow, this this deck's so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. Uh performance upgrade, it's it's upgraded a little bit, but not not a ton. I'm going to have to buy a new computer. Yeah, is, is Demonic Tutor on a stick with zero mana activation activation ability good? Yes or no? So far, so far all of my all three of my opponents have not been able to kill Captain Sase. And so It's been going very very good for us. Oh, yeah. If they play the card Shock, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, I, I can't really beat the card Shock. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. The mysteries of life are endless. Okay, well, now we can flash in Captain Sisei at their end step so they don't know it's coming. And then untap and activate. I will defend my allies. My purpose is greater than myself. Go get Spyglass, I dare you. Nothing's going to happen to the Spyglass, don't worry about it. We're definitely not going to cast Urza's Ruinous Blast or anything like that. You can still walk away. So am I supposed to cast the Oath Akaya to kill this Karn? This will not deter me. Nah. You playing you've been playing a lot, you played Jeskai Fires deck that played Josu Vess and used the extra mana to kick it for a full board of tokens. Does that work with the kicker? Does that, does that work with the kicker? Like, you can play it regularly with that, but then you still just spend the mana on the kicker? I know that that... I know Grixis Fires works... Like, four mana Nicol Bolas is amazing with Fires of Invention. You just have your seven mana, you play it for free, and then activate it. And turn it into the Planeswalker. A friend of yours? Um. Hmm. I guess questing beast. Okay, so that worked, huh? So you can still pay additional costs? Hmm. 
Maybe should have led with the Spyglass, if that was your plan, Spyglass Captain Sisse. I advise that you yield. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. And Ruin's Blast is so good. Let's we'll keep this Captain Sisse activation up here. See, see what we want to do with it. All right, what gets rid of an artifact? Besides. So we get rid of so we get Ruinous Blast, Golgari Queen, or Vivian. So obviously they could just name the Vivian. I would I'd be just fine with that though, because then we get to activate Captain. So that's what I'm kind of baiting them into just naming Vivian, and not naming Captain Sisse. Rude. That can't help. <sighs> not dead yet. Because then I wouldn't actually have to spend mana on the Vivian. You know, we could spend our mana doing other things. Well, this deck's been sweet so far. We've had Captain Sisse early, like, every game, and nobody's been able to kill it. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, nobody's played removal. Um. Hmm. So double once upon a time. Means this is probably like third land plus mana creature. So I think we would keep three lands mana creature in this. I guess the second Once Upon a Time we actually have to spend mana on, though. That's rough. No, even though even though we've been doing good with the deck, I don't I don't think this is really ready for high end mythic best of three. Not not don't think we're quite ready for that. All right, well, mono blue. Mono blue means we lose, probably. All right, Sir Eccles. Have a good birthday. You can use WoW cards on on these cards, or you can or you can buy them in the store. Hey, Daryl. Buy them as a huge bundle in the store.
If we would have drawn a land, I would have been playing Shalai. Maybe I should have just taken the land instead of the Kethos. I guess I was too greedy. You only got one more card in hand. Oh, that hurts. Gives him that card advantage. Okay. Boo. Still, if they don't draw a counter here. It's more likely they have like a negate or something. So even though Runus Blast would just win us the game, I feel like I should play like the other things. I kind of want to just play Captain Sisse and Landwar off because that that's double spelling. I think I'm supposed to do that. Because in, in case of another Trickster, I don't die immediately. Oh wait, I guess I do die immediately to Trickster. They just scry to the top immediately. Because it's not like... It's not like I would have gained life with Tulsimer. Dang. Because if I play Tulsimer... They just, they can counter the ability of a Siren Storm Tamer, so it's not like I just gained life with it right there. But yeah, it looks like, I guess I need to go Ruinous Blast, because it looked like they didn't have counter spell, they just had Brazen Borrowers. Um, yeah, so I guess I need to go Ruinous Blast. Yeah, because if I play it and it if it did get countered, like that's it was just so risky. Because yeah, if they had one a counter spell, another spell piercer, and a gate or anything like that, I I lost on the spot. So that's risky. Oh. Thank you, Paul. Staying on that 13th month streak. That's sub number 17 on the day. I was one behind. No, I, I don't think my way was a losing play, like what, what we did there. Not necessarily. Alright, so this would cost 6 mana if we play Shalai. Let me just go with these things. So this is an All That Glitters deck. Definitely a really good one to find Captain Sisse. Hmm. I 
All right, taking a turn off. Because <clears throat> we want to find Captain Sisse because because then that'll be Urza's Ruinous Blast. Like, basically, we just need Urza's Ruinous Blast. That's the real thing here. All right, these things are 4-4s. Four All I don't have that much more time to find... Where's his Ruinous Blast? But if we, you know, that's that's just the whole game. If we don't find it, we're gonna lose. If we find it, we win. Ruinous Blast. We have five Ruinous Blasts. We haven't seen any, though. There's five in the deck. Yeah, that'll happen, Seraph. I need a new. I don't know what what you're doing that for. Oh, just to pump the all that glitters. Because I'm playing three Captain Sisses that can go find Urza's Ruinous Blast. Also, besides the two Urza's Ruinous Blasts. Inglewood Jax. Thank you so much for that sub there.
Yeah, unfortunately, that's game. Yeah, this this thing's gonna be because you know this gets plus five before the next turn, so it's a seventeen seventeen. I need one more turn. Yeah, you know, like I need basically two more life. Two more life would have got me there. But we did not have two more life. I guess Emery would have made an, an eighteen also. We need a little bit more life than that. So close. If they didn't have triple, you know, triple um, steel overs here, I could have. If if I didn't block with the, see, the thing is, I kind of need to trade. But if I just didn't trade earlier with the Kenrith, I could have used a red mana, and Kenrith gave my creatures haste, and then I would have been able to block. So that was our first game like where where we just never had Captain Sisse. But I guess I guess I had to just chump. Like chump with Shalai and just not not block with the other card that I blocked with, whatever it's called. How this thing goes. Is up to you. Starting Looks like this is just the same matchup again. Yes, Paradise Druid would have made the red to give me haste. So I could have blocked this thing. Yeah, Spectre, um, yeah, the, the Spectre is not one of the best things to be doing in the format, but it's, it depends on, like, how much combo there really is in the format, how much getting that discard early, like, how good that is. It's like, it kind of depends on what this, the format looks like. A format full of creatures, you don't really want him not Spectre. It just it depends on what the format looks like. Captain Sisse. I'm assuming my opponent doesn't have removal for Captain Sisse. I'm hoping so, at least. I <laughs> know. Yeah, you're right. Our deck... The, the deck needs a Sisse to be able to hit the other Sisse's quicker. <laughs> I know, we need we need a Captain Sisse to find our Captain Sisse's. Alright, GG.
Exile them all. Including that glass casket. Give him my cat this back. There we go. The old six for one. It wasn't even really like a real card because you know, we just tapped. So we just tapped Captain Sisse and just exiled their entire board. <laughs> Is that good? Probably good. Hmm. So we can play the Great Henge. And Tulsmer. Even more life gain. Now obviously we have tons of mana for, for Kenrith. And this one's over. I could have also grabbed Othakaya and played, because Othakaya cost two, Tulsimer cost four. So I could have gone Othakaya, kill one, Tulsimer, kill the other. And no, Captain Sisse is not too good for Historic. But it is a lot of fun to play. All right, so that's Captain Sisse. We usually just do do our seven matches for best of one. Whew, that was fun. That was fun. Especially, like, those first four matches and everything. Um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We had we had tons and tons of draw steps to find Ruinous Blast for that other one, for the winning the second one, but we didn't. Um... Yeah, so Sisse dodges Glass Casket, yep, and dodges Cast Down. So we, we learned that. Dodges those two. Two mana removal spells. Um, yeah, God's Willing. You could use God's Willing as protection for Captain Sisse. For sure. Um, also playing Captain Sisse and Naya. We'll have to check that out. We, we went Abzan because Kethis makes everything cheaper. But if you go Naya, you can have... Um, Rhythm of the Wild. Uh, is it RH? Yeah, it's RHY. So you can have Rhythm of the Wild to give it haste. So you can just play Captain Sisse and immediately tap it. These are just showing some other cool things you do with Captain Sisse. You can have that. Um, you can have... Um, is, this, is it Sarkin? It's not Sarkin. It's not Domri. Um, what's another green-red Planeswalker? Xenagos? It's not Xenagos. Hmm. There's definitely another Gruul Planeswalker. I don't know who it is, though. Samet. That one, Samet. So you have Samet, which is, you know, legendary uh, permanent, which is obviously good good to have legends with Captain Sisse, but that Samet can give your creatures haste. Um... So that's another cool thing you can do with Captain Sisse. And then, of course, as we talked about before, um, Kiora. That was one of the last cuts we had with this deck. But yeah, Kiora, you can just play this. Um, untap your Captain Sisse. You know, so if you have three, and especially with Kethis, Kiora only costs two. So if you have two mana, you can just go like, all right, tap, go find Kiora. Two mana, play Kiora, untap your Captain Sisse. And then you just have this like out there so you can activate Captain Sisse twice a turn. So uh, it was it was just one of my last cuts, but that's that's pretty sweet though too. And yeah, that's true. We could we could have played Samet in Abzan also. Um, you probably want Samet and Kiora in like more of a, a creature, a legendary creature style beatdown Naya deck. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. 
so yeah, this deck uh, actually performed very well. I was, I was, I was thinking that maybe we were going to be like too slow against aggro and stuff, but we just played Captain Sisse, they didn't kill it, then we would go find our Urza's Ruinous Blast, and just the game ended. Or, you know, go grab Lyra Dawnbringer, Shalai, to protect Captain Sisse, all that kind of stuff. Um, pretty awesome deck here. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have to get back to this one in Historic some more and, and find more ways to play Captain Sisse as well. All right, those of y'all on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. Leave some comments. If you're trying this Abzan Legends deck out, let me know how it's going for you over there on YouTube. Leave those comments. Um, you know, let me know like what are you doing well with, what are you struggling with, all that kind of stuff. Um, and, of course, whatever else. You, like If you're playing other Legends decks, everything like that, leave them in the comments over there over there on YouTube. But thank you so much for watching some Abzan Legends, and I'll see you for the next video.